So, in the movie The Sound of Music, there's a 16-year-old girl named Liesl who sings a song about 16 going on 17. And she wears a very pretty pink dress and dances with the boy she likes. And it's an awesome song and scene, and I knew that I had to make that dress while I was still 16. So here we are. Here's a picture of the dress. It's very pink. Um, got like an empire waistline sort of. Um, flowy sleeves. Full spinny circle skirt. I'm gonna make it. So if you go online, there is a lady that makes a pattern for this dress and I'm sure it's very good. I just didn't want to buy it and I like I like doing my own thing, my own patterns. But I got some inspiration from it, so I'll link it in the description. Just like her details of it, like the materials she used and a little of the techniques. So I'm definitely crediting her for just like basic ideas and materials and stuff. Just that she has in the description for the dress pattern. And anyway, looking at other blogs and stuff at what people did. But I'm not using anyone's pattern for this. I'm making it up myself. Okay. So today I got the fabric for the dress. I got this light pink china silk lining. It's very cheap fabric, but whatever. <laughs> My first time getting it from this place. But anyway, I got three yards of this for bodice lining and skirt lining. I got two yards of cream chiffon for kind of a petticoat circle skirt underneath. One blog I read said they think there's at least two pink layers and two cream layers, so that's kind of what I was going for, except I have a lining instead of cream layer. And last but not least, I have six yards of pink chiffon, and it looks kind of bubblegum pink when it's all together, but, you know, when it's out and see-through, I think it looks pretty good for her dress, and this will also be for the bodice and sleeves, of course, and some ribbon. I get to make this dress before I turn 17. Let's go. So, I started by draping the bodice pattern, starting with the easy rectangle pieces. There are three of the rectangle pieces, the top big one and the two smaller ones. The top big rectangle has darts, and I partly draped that and partly just measured using how big the top should be and how much the darts should make the bottom of the rectangle smaller. To make the top yoke part, I just measured what I wanted my neckline to be. I cut out two of each of the bodice pieces in a lining fabric. To make the skirts, I cut out full circle skirts. Since the fabric was 60 inches wide, a knee length circle skirt just barely fit, so that was lucky. If you don't know how to make a circle skirt, you can look up a good tutorial online, but basically you fold your fabric lengthwise and widthwise so it's in quarters, then divide your waist measurement by 6.28 and measure that out from the corner, cut out that quarter circle, then measure the length you want the skirt and measure that out from the waistline you just made. And there you have a circle skirt. I cut out one from the lining fabric, one from the cream chiffon, and two circle skirts from pink chiffon. Then I cut out a layer of pink chiffon to go on the bodice yoke pieces, that's the top like shoulder and neck pieces. The top part isn't roughly so, it's just one flat layer of the chiffon on top of the lining. To make the roughly rectangles on the bodice, I set the lining pieces on some doubled up pink chiffon and cut it out so the chiffon was a rectangle twice the length of the lining, so that when I gathered it up, it will be a roughly. And I went ahead and gathered 
the rectangle chiffon pieces. So I hand basted the lining and the chiffon yoke layers together so they wouldn't get messed up in future machine sewing. I gathered and pinned the chiffon roughly pieces to the rectangle lining pieces to my liking and hand basted them to the lining so that they would stay put nicely when I sewed. And I went ahead and sewed the bodice pieces together, just the three rectangles and the yoke. And the back yoke is split in two for the zipper. I machine basted the four skirt layers together at the top at the waistline and then sewed the whole skirt onto the bodice. I sewed up each of the skirt's back seams separately except for several inches at the top I didn't sew to allow room for a zipper into the skirt and bodice. I didn't sew those perfectly and should have gone back and hand sewed them once I put the zipper in but I didn't. <laughs> Since I wanted to finish the neckline but didn't want visible machine top stitches on the chiffon which might mess it up. I made a neckline facing out of the lining, which I just traced what the neckline looked like and did like one and a half inches extra, hemmed it and sewed it on. Then I hand sewed it down on the inside so it wouldn't flap around and then sewed the zipper in. Then I did the sleeves. Liesl's dress just has the sheer puppy sleeves, but I wanted it opaque at the shoulder, so I made some cap sleeves out of the lining fabric. I've given up trying to make my own cap sleeve patterns, because luckily I found a good one from a random store-bought pattern. I cut four of the sleeve pattern in the lining fabric. Each cap sleeve has two layers that I sewed together at the bottom and top stitched and then basted together at the top. For the puffy sleeve, I used the cap sleeve pattern but kind of followed a tutorial which I'll link in the description and I made it bigger at the sides and top to make it puffy. And I made the sleeve long enough to go to my elbow and then fold up a few inches so the elastic is covered up and the edge of the sleeve is just nice looking from the outside. So I cut out those pink chiffon sleeve pieces. I sewed um, a seam on each of them, just the inside sleeve seam. And then at the bottom of each sleeve, I made a casing for quarter inch wide elastic. And I did that by folding the bottom over, folding it over again, and sewing it down at the top. Then threaded elastic through that little tunnel I made, sewed the elastic together at the edges. That made the bottom of the sleeve puffy, but fitting to my arm. I gathered the sleeves at the top, and then I basted them to the cap sleeves. Then I sewed the sleeves in. I hemmed the lining circle skirt. My tip for hemming circle skirts is the smaller the hem, the better. So I saw on the online patterns just little details. It mentioned a lettuce hem. I looked that up and usually you do that with knit fabrics, but you can do it with light fabrics like chiffon if they're on the bias, which is like diagonal grain and it's a little stretchy. A circle skirt has parts on the bias and I wanted the bottom of the skirt to be nice and floofy, so I tried doing the lettuce hem. So basically you fold the edge under and you sew a zigzag on the now folded edge while stretching the fabric a lot. It's nice because you don't have to pin it, so it's faster. Something to know with circle skirts and such is that they stretch out since they're on the bias. I should have left the skirts hanging so they would stretch and then I could even up the hem, but I didn't. Just something to remember for next time, I guess. So Liesl's dress has ribbons and little bows on the bodice. I got some ribbon, but decided it was too wide. Uh, I figured it would be hard to find the perfect width and color, and I didn't feel like hand sewing it all on, so I didn't end up doing the bows and ribbon. So, then I was done. 